let us consider a body in one dimensional motion that the body of mass is m and it is not applied by a constant force and let the force is a variable force let at any instant because of the variable variable force body has acquired a velocity v therefore we can write kinetic energy at that instant is nothing but equal to half m v square we can calculate the rate of change of kinetic energy that means whenever you say rate of change it is nothing but change with respect to time so rate of change of kinetic energy is nothing but equal to change in the kinetic energy with respect to time we can write that as d by dt of half m v square this is called mathematical differentiation i can get the math mass of the body out because that is constant half is also out because that is also constant d by dt of v square velocity is actually a variable with respect to time because the force is variable here in differentiation there is a formula differentiation of x power n equal to n into x power n minus 1 so differentiation of v power 2 will be in the place of n now we are having 2 2 into v power 2 minus 1 that's nothing but equal to 2v by substituting this value in the above equation we can write rate of change of kinetic energy is m by 2 and d by dt of v square is nothing but equal to 2v therefore we can further write rate of change of kinetic energy as m dv by dt can be written like a acceleration and v we can further write m a as f we can define the velocity as rate of change of displacement therefore we can say rate of change of kinetic energy is nothing but equal to f into dx by dt we can cancel this dk dt and dt and we can write change in kinetic energy is equal to f into dx to get the total kinetic energy we have only a portion of the kinetic energy here like that for each displacement with respect to a force there is some kinetic energy to get the total kinetic energy we shall integrate so by integrating the above equation we can get integral of dk equal to integral of f dx integral of kinetic energy change is nothing but k final minus k initial is nothing but equal to integral of f dx therefore we can calculate this change in kinetic energy as nothing but equal to the work done itself that worked as per the work energy theorem therefore work done is nothing but equal to integral of f dx where x could be varying from lower limit x1 to upper limit x2